Bacon? It's real bacon! It's bacon straps! <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the basement. We are continuing our way through the Super Metroid game uh, in the planet Zeebs. Is are you sure that's or Zeebies? I always thought it was like a two-syllable word, but I don't know how to pronounce it. If you know, if you know how to pronounce the planet we're on right now, and and don't say Earth, smart Alex. Especially uh, Alec. Earth. Welcome to Earth. If you're smart and your name is Alec, don't even, don't even, right now. Hey, if you're starting a band and you need a name. Smart Alex, but A L E X instead of A L E C S. Ooh, Smart Alex! <laughs> I get. It. Oh, you need to freeze something to get up there. Yeah, I don't think there is anything to freeze. Well, your well, screw we... attack is all attacky. Oh, cause your gun is charged. Yeah. So you hurt stuff doing that? You can't. Oh man, that's so much like uh. The original. Shovel Knight. Yeah. They must have got that from Shovel Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, previously Steelers. in the basement, um, I had the controller and I was doing some exploring and I got some things and I had, uh, died once and I brought our health up and oh, we haven't been through the green yet. Okay. We came um, from the blue. Let's do green right now because that's gonna be a cool way to make things happen today. <laughs> Alright, you ready? And now this time in the basement, I'm ready. Ted's got the controller and oh my gosh. Look at a nice tiny little tongue. It's got eight eyes, long... <gasps> this music! This music's in another game. Really? It's gotta be. If you know what other game this music's from, comment below. What else did I say to comment below about? There's already a lot of things to comment on. <laughs> Special welcome to all our subscribers today. We're so glad you're here dwelling with us. If you want to be an official basement dweller, um, click the subscribe button. Uh, if you don't want to, that's okay. You can still watch our videos. We don't begrudge it. Listen, if it's either you're gonna watch our videos and not subscribe, or you're gonna leave because you feel like you have to subscribe, please don't feel the pressure. You can hang out and watch videos as long as you like. Uh, but if you want to be an official dweller, that's the way to go. Mm-hmm. Also, then you know what's coming out and when from us, and that's... That's important, because we always are doing multiple games at the same time, and different stuff comes out on different days. What the heck are we fighting here, Ted? Okay, so this is like a weird lava monster. He's like all boily and stuff. You see that? Are those eyes? Yeah, he's he's got some exploding, like, joints. Is he, like, getting sweatier? He looks like he's suffering from arthritis, or he's melting. <laughs> he might be. I ah, love I'm like out of missile attack here. His mouth is so big and his tongue is so small. It's true. He's like, I'm like a giant. <laughs> so food doesn't taste good. But anyway, very so good. you can fight this guy all day long, and there's only one way to actually beat him, which is what I'm doing right now. You have to make him go backward. Oh, really? So you can't like damage him to death. You got to make him fall into the lava or back into spikes or whatever's yeah, about totally to happen. Yeah, totally like a Bowser type situation here. Although you can just straight up defeat Bowser with damage. That that's true. It's just the more efficient way to drop him into the lava. But that's that's our goal here, huh? Is to knock him back, back, back. Boy. So gave me some missiles. Come on, back up, you slimy goober. What do you think his name is? <laughs> I like slimy goober. Yeah, he's Mr. How about slimy Sluber? Goober. <laughs> Glimy. Glimy's Luber. Wow. That's really, uh, sort of... Gluberg. Misleading. Oh, that floor is gonna break, isn't it? I bet it is. Oh! Watch oh. this. This is so awful. Oh. Watch it. Oh. oh, no! Wow. He just keeps coming back. Wow. That was violent. Good yeah. job, Ted. We will mourn his loss. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's enough mourning. See you later, Yay. Uh, monster. We- uh-oh. What's gonna happen here? Why is that- is that uh, gonna start uh, moving? Uh, uh, Is that gonna attack you? That's just gonna slide towards you, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. no! Oh. oh, he's psych out. <laughs> wow, I was gonna say, how does he still have the ability to attack? He's got no muscles. Yeah, he's got no... I don't understand how he got here. 
Like <laughs> maybe that's a different one. <laughs> a different one that also got melted in the lava. That one's Juliet. Oh, they were in love. <laughs> I'm still sad about the baby Metroid. I'm I'm really curious as to what's going to happen at the end of this game. Ooh, well, uh, that's funny. That you is it a, it. is it a love story? <laughs> and the baby Metroid fell in love with another baby Metroid who is a male <laughs> Metroid. No, with Samus. Oh, 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 well, they're two completely different species. I know, it's like, but people marry their horses and stuff. What? And, well, or I don't know, they try. Like, wasn't there a guy who married his cat? What? I've never heard of this my whole life. <laughs> you gotta get out more. I don't know. I'm, I'm I don't pretty know. happy with not having to deal with... Ooh, wait, I have an idea. I can lure you over here. And then freeze you. And then what? That's exactly... And then jump off at you. Okay, you're basically where you were. <laughs> Not. I don't think it's gonna be high enough. Too much help. All right, let's go down. Uh, if you're married to another species, comment below. Tell us what species you're married to. That's interesting. And uh, and how long you've been married and how it's working out for you. Yeah. Where do you go to marriage counseling? I have been married species to a female human for ten years. Wow. Speciesist. It's going great. Yeah. That's good. I definitely favor the uh, human species over all others. You know, but one difference between me and some others is I consider all humans members of the human species. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Some people don't. Yeah, no, some people don't. Although they would argue that they feel the same way too, and just those other people aren't actually humans. That. Wow. Listen, people are humans, guys. If you need if you started a new band and you need a name, people are humans. That one's on the house. Courtesy of the basement. How about humans are people too? <laughs> Save the humans. That's the same acid that killed our eight eyeballed friend, isn't it, with the small tongue? I think so. Can you bomb that vat at the very bottom? No. Let's try it. That was a super bomb. Super bombs work on all bomb surfaces. All bombables? Yep. In the screen. But uh, bombs don't work on super bomb stuff. That, you know, right. That makes sense. Though. Square. All squares are rectangles. No. Yes. Not all rectangles are squares. All right. That was like a really slow Yoshi. Ooh, mount. you ready? You ready for this? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm prepared. Are you really prepared? I am emo I'm in a good emotional place for that dead end. You know what was scary to me when I was a kid? What? Dead ends. Like, um, in a maze. Hmm. And not even in a game, but like real life. Like, um, I don't know, gosh, I wish I had a better memory of it, but, uh, oh, like dude. when I was a kid, I went to some sort of maze like a halloween maze a corn maze or something and, it, and no it was it was i don't know it felt like it was made like like some people at wow sweet some yeah. people at like an office made a cubicle maze like out of cubicle walls by reshaping it and then you would just you would turn left <clears throat> and turn right and then there'd be a fork in the road and you'd make the wrong choice and you'd go around a little corner and there would just be like a scarecrow straw man like slumped on the floor and a sign that said dead end and somehow the just the finality of that and knowing you had to turn back and retrace your steps and it wasn't very scary or eerie but it was just sort of nice I love that thing the hook shot it's like you've got mm -hmm. I don't know it was just it was just Halloweeny enough and it there was something not like jump scare about it or not like violent scare just about impending it impending sort of like yeah like un ominous like doom. unknown like I'm in a place where I don't know where I am and and I chose wrong you know and that's a big deal something about a dead end was just s s frightening to me as a kid oh nice oh you executed such a good wall jump oh you did it again ah dang it looks like you need a lot of uh there you go. Is that just shoot? The shoot button? Yep. Okay. Just the shoot button, but you gotta select it first, obviously. Right. Boy, this really affords us a lot of stuff. Now, you're rocking manually. Like, mm -hmm. you're yeah. holding left and then right to get more momentum and stuff. Can you hang just straight down? 
Like, can you stop while you're hanging? Yep. And then can you, like, climb up it? Yep. You can kind of pull up. Nice. Very okay. cool. I think I just backtracked. But I want to make sure we kind of look at those spaces. Yeah, we want to find everything so. we can find. Yep. Boom. I just wasn't expecting to, like, blast through that so quick. Well, you're doing good. Now we're just uh, sort of turning the map pink here, making sure we, uh... Oh, I remember this spot. That's right, you blasted these out and then, uh, ran. Well, this is the ro this is the ramp from where you jumped, right? Yep. Yeah. But I'm not so gonna this jump, time this instead time of just, just going run. through the door up there and exiting the room right away. Ooh. Oh yeah, because it was the bottom of the room that was still blue, right? Yep. So now we're just making sure there's nothing important down here. Which there might be. That little ledge looks suspicious for sure, but nope. Alas, no oh, suspiciosity. All right, so have you filled in that room then? Almost. This There's room? like a little spot up to the right. Oh, the top right. Jeez. Boy. That's not good. Getting low on That's the old bad health. Bad is what that is. What are those pillars doing there? Were they holding something up before? That one fell. This is kind of a creepy like ruins area. Okay. Boom boom. Boom. What are those guys? Is that a little face? It is a little face. It's like, oh, I'm an alien and I'm really good. I'm an alien. Oh, not yeah. on this planet, he's not. <laughs> well, you don't know that. Maybe he's not a native. Species. Well, that's true, I guess. If you're an alien, like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> Do you think there's aliens? Comment below. Some people believe they exist. Some people believe they don't. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and some people are agnostic. Say something that maybe, maybe uh, you'd agree with. I don't know, Peter. Let's mm. find out. Mm. We will find out this time in the basement. All right, this is my little theory here. Okay. ET's a Jedi. Yes, I do believe that too. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know. Um, I no, know, I, I know. was gonna say. Uh, I think you got that, I believe in aliens. You got that really casual, serious. <laughs> Stop tone. giving me those bombs! I want life. Is yeah, what I want. Yeah, you got a lot. Well, they're giving you a hint to bomb, to bam. Once you get down to the bottom, <laughs> bottom bam. So yeah, you think aliens, huh? Uh, yeah. Are and you they're... basing that on just the fact that the universe is so big and we haven't discovered it all? Nope. Are you basing that on you saw one? Nope. Oh. <laughs> okay. What are you basing that on? I'm basing that on, it's probably like a not very like... Wow. <laughs> You've got seven out of 399. Haha, -ha, 12! Haha. -ha. Is there like a recharge station nearby? Or a, oh dear. Oh, I see, you're trying to do the jump to the room, aren't you? Yeah, that's beneficial. There's good stuff behind there. I can't remember if there's... I'm sure uh, everyone is dying to know. What are you basing your uh, alien theory on? Okay. Well, it's probably not very orthodox to say this, but that's okay. We're a, we're a uh, open-minded community here in the basement. I would say to an extent, anybody who believes in God is probably believing in aliens. Really? Think about it. Think about like Star Trek episodes, right? Where they meet a, 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 a being that's made entirely out of energy and has ultimate wisdom and. Uh huh. You know, all that kind of stuff. Well, and, okay, so... And uh, even, 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 like, some atheist groups will, like, say, um, we believe that, you know, God doesn't exist, but aliens could have seeded this planet with life. Right, sure, because, well, I mean, there has to be sort of a first cause to life on Earth. Yeah. And Earth itself. But, and like, to me, big, I mean, Big yeah. Bang is a little... Like, people complain about the God of the Gaps theory, which is, oh, I don't know how to explain it, so, so therefore, therefore God, God did it, right? Yeah. But, you know, for an atheist, it's, it's difficult to explain life and existence and Earth as well. So, you know, it's like, well, I can't explain it, but here's a theory. Maybe aliens seeded the planet, and that's how there's life here. I, that's a little bit of, like, an aliens of the Gaps theory, you know, or, like, True. a non-God of the Gaps. But that just points out a fundamental... 
you know, uh, gap in human understanding is that there are gaps in human understanding, right? True. So you have to, you have to attribute that to something and just, it's just based on what you have faith in. Faith in the idea that God exists without proof. Faith in the idea that God does not exist without proof. Uh, or faith yeah. in aliens without proof. It's interesting. But yeah, I'm just like, eh, you know, it's probably weird to think about, but I mean, the very fact that God isn't, if, if God's real, uh -huh. he's not from Earth, that makes him an alien. Well, he doesn't have to be like a finite being in order to be considered an alien. He well, can still be an infinite. I suppose you know, that's true. I mean, all I'd, creative being or whatever. If you want to call an alien just an extraterrestrial, extra means outside of, and terrestrial means Earth. Right, so anything whose origin isn't Earth is an extraterrestrial, then... Yeah. Wow, you can stick to him? Yeah, you cool. sure can. Alright, uh, more about extraterrestrials and other philosophical and theological implication things next time in the basement, huh? Oh, and maybe we'll play some Metroid. Oh, what's that? Woo! Power bomb upgrade! More power bombs. More bombs! Yeah! So many bombs. Watch us blow stuff up with him next time! In the basement. Look at I'm sorry. Look at these goofy skulls. Like they look <gasps> like creepy and evil and whatever, but they also just kind of look like like dopey happy puppies. Like, <gasps> <gasps> do you have a steak for me? <laughs> <laughs> bacon. It's real bacon. It's bacon strips. <laughs> 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 all right, so yeah, next time in the basement, more of uh, all this stuff. See you there. <laughs>